Going to join your numerous admirers and fans to congratulate you on your well deserved victory. Our joy in your victory stems from the fact that the judiciary has provided the environment for the rule of law to flourish. We congratulate you again and we wish to restate our promise of total loyalty to you and the government of Abia State and we are assuring you of our cooperation. It is not possible for some of our brother judges who are at the election petition tribunal assignment to be here with us, but they are, they are with us in spirit. Finally, we wish you a smooth and successful tenor, and we pray the Almighty God to guard and protect you and yours always. Your Excellency, this visit has been arranged, had been arranged on the 14th of June 2011 but was cancelled because you had to travel out of the state. It is not very easy to reach you because of your very tight schedule. For your excellency, though our primary aim is paying you this visit, in paying you this visit is to congratulate you, may we seize this opportunity to bring to your attention the numerous problems of the judiciary. So we know that we have been doing so much for the people of our state, Despite your financial constraints, that notwithstanding, Your Excellency, Your Excellency will still be benevolent to help us in satisfying our demands. This is because we are doing our almost best, and we do much better if our demands are met. Yes. I feel happy and honored this morning that all the judges of our state decided corporately. <coughs> to come and bring me this course a call. I thank you all for that. And for you, the acting chief judge, whether this thing was planned on the 14th or it was planned last year, the very fact that it is happening now is a credit to you. So I want to thank you for that. It's one of the achievements you have. I cannot re emphasize the cordial relationship that has existed between the judiciary and the executive. It has been wonderful in this state. People have cooperated maximally with me. And I think, to the best of my ability, I've been also able to cooperate with all of you. And nice people, even at times, in the course of doing your job. Uh, one, one order, one judgment may upset us to a very large extent, but we try to manage and endure because you are doing your job. We don't inflict, we don't like the vision of justice, so we allow you, give you free hand to do the right thing which you are supposed to do. So you have done very well as far as I'm concerned. And when you came, I knew that after talking, there must be demands. <laughs> there must be demands. So I am prepared for those demands. And I'll do the ones I can do. Yes. I know, I know I'm still uh, lagging behind the certain things that I promised you. It is in my mind. And with time, I will fulfill all those obligations. The other time I went to the customary court of appeal, it was a disaster because I saw the place judges were staying. But three judges in one room, the place was leaking. It wasn't conducive for the working environment. And when I came back, I sent a contractor to that place. And the man came and brought the estimates. And uh, by the grace of God, he made collect money. He must have collected that money tomorrow or today to come and start doing that place fine. <laughs> Let me show you also how we value you. I want to start talking of things that were done of recent for the judiciary. We know your constraints, we know your handicaps, but then. I'm happy that you realize that this government, government that has two breasts, 
what hundred children struggling for the two breasts. <laughs> I know that you appreciate that. What we we'll do is we try our best to satisfy every facet, every arm of government. But for sure, like my friend said, I remain eternally grateful to the judiciary. If not for the judiciary, I will not be here. You know that very well. So that is why whatever they do to me, if I want to fight, I feel very weak. Because these are people who helped in making me. And I wanted to realize that I have it in mind. And for those of you who don't know, please have it in mind. So that when you want to fight, when you remember that this is the man you made, this is the house you built, you cannot destroy the house you built, then you'll be weak also. So that is what I want to tell you. But sincerely speaking, you've done very well. I'm happy with you. We are also struggling in Abuja because there are vacancies. Vacancies that normally come out. At the judiciary, at the federal level, where you have to struggle. State struggle and struggle. We struggle for when Justice Ikechi Wago retired. We struggle to bring a replacement here, but it wasn't possible. They went to a boy instead and took somebody. So these things are shared. You know, at that level, everything becomes political. You bring politics into it. It is no longer on merit and other things. You may be the best person, the best brand. But if you come from a place where you have many judges or many justices, or the Federal High Court or Court of Appeal or Supreme Court, they will go to another state and pick for fair play equity. That is what happened. But uh, I want all of you to be rest assured that we have their interest at heart. And our judges that have been going on outside assignment have been doing us very proud. Giving sound judgment that cannot be faulted. When you read their judgment, you say yes. This is from a cerebral judge. So I'm happy about that because this endowment that God has given to our state. Even at the law school, our boys who come from our state university, we always do very well at the law school. So bear in mind that this is the endowment God has given this state, that you people are born to be bright. You are born to be stars in your chosen career. You will help us also to ensure that we maintain peace in other states this issue of kidnapping. I am yet the day I raise hand for the judiciary and black is the day I read or I hear that the kidnapper has been sentenced to death or put in jail. But the practice here is I don't know why. When they come now, maybe because people are afraid to come and give witness. When the judge brings the man to court and no person comes around, you will force a handicap. You will force to release the man. You go back to the society and start causing mayhem. Becomes more dangerous. So you will help us how to curtail that. Because it's even better. You don't catch a kidnapper. He is at large. That when you catch him, send him to the police. He is sent to the court and he is released. He becomes more dangerous. He becomes above every person above the law. He bears in mind that nothing will ever happen to him. He becomes dangerous. So uh, this is another area that disturbs us, and that is where you help to make sure that this issue of kidnapping that we have at least been able to handle adequately is completely, completely eliminated. And what that is done, you and I, we live in a peaceful society. And we can enter our rooms and sleep with our two eyes closed. And finally, finally, let me encourage all of you. You are enduring with us because of our United States. Please continue enduring because we have the hope that tomorrow will be better. And the issue of who becomes the substantive chief judge, I said it 
yesterday, is this sorted out? We shall sort it out amicably, there is no problem. I want to let me thank all of you for finding time to come. Let me tell you that I'm happy that you care, all of you. And then I'll be ready to listen to the demands. Thank you.